a trip to study land and time provide lifelong memories. Students from Glendale's geology program have lasting images and thoughts from a 10-day journey. The canyon itself, it is 277 miles long, 18 miles wide in some places, and about a mile deep. The gorge was really cool. It was like a, a canyon that had walls really close together. Lee's Ferry and Balancing Rock. Zion is located on the western margin of the Colorado Plateau. 11,000 years ago, they all collapsed and made a pool. It is bigger than it looks. <laughs> The Southern Colorado Plateau is home to more than a dozen state and national parks. 17 adventurers embark on a trip that includes spectacular destinations throughout Northern Arizona and Southern Utah. For the next 10 days, the students and faculty experience the best of the Colorado Plateau. Its beauty, its mysteries, and its geology. And along the trail, they'll uncover some of its secrets. The adventurers travel north toward the south rim of the Grand Canyon. Their first stop is the Verde Valley. Montezuma's Well is the first of many national parks and national monuments the geodesy team visits. The well is a natural sinkhole, nearly 400 feet wide with cliffs towering 70 feet above the water's edge. Students are briefed about the geologic significance of the well. 10 to 5 million years ago. That's the most recent one. We're actually gonna be looking at some rocks that are that age and a little younger. Students also share some of their own research. The water is very rich in uh, uh, calcium carbonate and carbon dioxide, and it comes in at about a million and a half gallons a day. People first inhabited the region about 11,000 years ago. Around the well, masonry cliff dwellings and pueblos were built. Irrigation ditches were also constructed, bringing life to this arid landscape. In the early 1400s, following nearly 300 years of occupation, Montezuma's well was abandoned. No one knows why for sure, but many believe disease, drought, and crop failure may have contributed. Red Mountain Volcano is a cinder cone in northern Arizona about 25 miles north of Flagstaff. A haven for hikers, Red Mountain is also a natural lure for geologists. The ground just gives way until you lift your foot up and make another step. Um, it's way more exciting than being in the loud room, that's for sure. Any avid geologist is always on the lookout for samples. Red Mountain is estimated to be three quarters of a million years old. Geology students did not want to leave without experiencing its black grains of crystalline minerals. The outdoor classroom provides some let loose time. It's, it's fun to see things in the field, but it's so much more fun to be out there and be looking at it with somebody, especially people that it's new for. Yeah, it looks almost know. like a rainbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's chatoyance they okay. call that. Yeah. There is no place on our planet where the effect of time is more dramatically illustrated and recorded than the Grand Canyon. Millions of years have allowed the mighty and persistent Colorado River to carve an artful and revealing path. The Grand Canyon is the majestic centerpiece of the Colorado Plateau. Even though it's late spring, the adventurers are greeted with unseasonably cold weather, but geologists are not easily dispirited. Traveling along the canyon's south rim road, the snow becomes heavier. But the spring squall quickly subsides as the little Colorado River Gorge draws closer. Join us on next month's edition of Maricopa Now as we continue our journey through the Colorado Plateau, the little Colorado River, dinosaur tracks, and into Utah, and a spectacular view of the San Juan River. It makes everything just seem more real and it's really great to see the landforms that I've been reading in the geology books. I'm Renee Blatte reporting for Maricopa Now. <laughs>